Then the fingerprint scanner will lit up. I'll place my finger. The image should be taken. And during enrollment, you need to place your finger twice. So I'll need to place my finger again. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can connect this Raspberry Pi 4 to a fingerprint module here. This is a standard fingerprint module that you can buy online. To connect this to the Raspberry Pi, we can either connect this directly to these pins, to the UART pins of the Raspberry Pi, or we can use a USB to UART converter like this. For this, we need to connect the connector. So depending on your module, sometimes the connector is located in this part of the fingerprint module. But for me, it's here. So we'll just need to connect this. And then to be able to connect this on the headers of the Raspberry Pi 4 or on this USB to UART, we need these wires. So this is a jumper wire. I cut the other end. So I think I need to make it a little bit small. So I can solder it here. So now we're done soldering these jumper wires on the end of this connector. So now we can connect this to our Raspberry Pi. This module can be powered via 3.3 volts. Although some modules are powered via 5 volts, this one will work on 3.3. So we will connect the red and black wires to the supply lines. If you look at here, there is also a label there, V, T, R, and G. V will be the 3.3 volts, T will be the transmit, R will be the receive, and then G will be the ground. So now it's connected. Now we'll need to connect this to the Raspberry Pi. The first one that I connect is the 3.3 volts line, which is connected on that header. Next, I connect the ground, which is color black, here. As you see here, this part, which is which is the T, is connected to the blue DuPont jumper. So we need to connect this on the RX of the Raspberry Pi. That is the position we're going to connect the T, the TX, or the transmitter of this module here, which should be paired on the receiver of the Raspberry Pi. And then lastly, we'll need to connect this, the receiver of the fingerprint scanner, to the transmitter of the Raspberry Pi, which is here. Now that it is connected, we can now start to work on the program for our Raspberry Pi so that we can be able to use this fingerprint scanner. Since we are using the header pins on the Raspberry Pi, we need to configure the UART pins. To do that, we need to go to Raspberry Pi configuration and then go to interfaces. Then on serial port, we need to click enable. With this, we need to restart our or reboot our Raspberry Pi. After the restart, we now have configured the pins of our Raspberry Pi. Now we need to download some libraries from the internet. So I will show you the guide how to search it. You need to open the browser, which you can click on the upper left. Then we need to search on Google, add a fruit fingerprint. Sensor Python, and then you need to click this. This is the reference library that we're going to use from Adapt Fruit website. Then we need to go on the section for the Circuit Python because this is a comprehensive guide which includes Arduino as well, aside from the Raspberry Pi. Now, this is the command that we need to put on our terminal. Let's copy it. We open our terminal, then we paste it. 
Then we have to wait for the terminal to download the necessary repository. Now it's successfully installed. We can copy the code, the example code here below. Then we need to open the built-in Python IDE in Raspberry Pi, which is Tony. Then we paste it here. And then we need to edit something. Because by default, the code will work on microcontrollers like Arduino and some Adafruit development boards. But since we are using our Raspberry Pi, we need to comment some portion of the code and uncomment some portions that is necessary for us to use our UART pins. You can get more info on the Adafruit link. Now we will uncomment this section. Then we can try to run. We need to save the file here on desktop so we can easily see it. It's fingerprint test.py. Once we run it, you can now see fingerprint templates E, F, and D. These are the keys that we need to input from our keyboard. If you have seen any errors, then you probably haven't enabled yet the UART on the RPI configuration or you change something in the code that's not needed to be changed. Now we can try and test this on the actual hardware that we have. Our Raspberry Pi and our fingerprint sensor is now ready. Now let's try to enroll one finger and I will enroll it to number one. Then the fingerprint scanner will lit up. I'll place my finger. The image should be taken. And during enrollment, you need to place your finger twice. So I'll need to place my finger again. And now it's enrolled. Let's now test this by inputting F. Then place the finger again. As you see, it's detected number 1 with confidence 1, 2, 6. Now we will try to use this USB to UART converter as a way to control the fingerprint module for our Raspberry Pi. So it has the same UART pins here. It has 3.3 volts, ground, TX, and RX. So we will pair that here as well. Now I'm done connecting the jumper wires. The red will be corresponding to the 3.3 volts. The ground or the black will correspond to the ground. And then the RX and TX will just be the complementary of this uh, connector. Like for the T, that should go to the RX, which is the color blue. And then the white one, which is the R, should go to the TX, which is now the color yellow. Now we can connect this to the USB port of our Raspberry Pi and we can now test it again in our software. There are different USB to UART converters that you can buy online. I already created a video about this and you can check the link in the description down below. Same with the testing that we did previously, we will test the USB to UART converter together with the fingerprint scanner. We will use the same software and enroll it again. Then we will name it 1 and location 1. We will place our finger. Then second one, second time. Then it's enrolled. Let's test it. And place our finger. And it's detected again as finger number 1. Fingerprint scanners have different applications like authentications time in and time out, and for other security purposes. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. I will put more content and video about by using, using this fingerprint scanner, and I hope you subscribe on my channel. Bye-bye.